walking in the first video, now I'm going to show you how we can adapt it a little bit and grade it by using crutches. Just in case if you're somebody who uses crutches and stuff, you can still do this activity too, like we said, because it's for all abilities. So here's the start line, and we're going to go to hop scotch. So with crutches, you kind of have a little bit of a balance with it. So you can do it like this. With both feet, you go to the one, go to the two, go to the three, and then you can spread your crutches out a little bit. Just always make sure to be safe first before trying things. So we're gonna move this way and try to put your left foot on the four and then your right foot on the five. And you want to put both feet this way, left foot on seven, right foot on eight. Then we finish it with both feet, nine, ten. And here is our little hopping activity with arrows. So with crutches, we can do this. Try to find the tips of the arrows. And you want to position yourself to try to get all the way to at least the middle of the arrow and you can try going backwards with the crutches. Just take it a little bit at a time. And look, you can reach the middle this way. Keep trying to go backwards. And we're going to go back this way. Just take your time. It's no rush, you're not timed on this activity. So now we're going to plant our feet on the last bit of the arrows. And we come to the spin. So we're going to try to spin with our crutches. As always, take your time and try to make it through all the loops. And if you get dizzy, feel free to stop where you're at and just pick up once you get on bed. We're just twisting through here. Got one more loop. We're going to twist through this one. This one, we have a cool activity to do for this one. Instead of using your arms to go up and your legs to go this way, try putting your crutches where you would normally put your feet. So right here, you want to put your crutches right here, and then put your feet right here, crutches right here, feet right here, crutches, feet, crutches, feet. Now we have the long jump. You can do this and do a long jump. Here's the fall jump. It's going to be similar to jumping jacks, except for this time when you plant your crutches on the holes that don't have color in them, leave them there, and where it says hands, this clap. So like when we reach right here, clap. Because frogs kind of make like a clapping noise when they jump. we have the figure eight. So this one, it's gonna be similar to the spinning. So you just want to take your time, make sure you go through it twice. Let's see, there's one time around. Now we'll try it this way. What I want you to do with this activity is put one foot on the ladder and then go forward and do the other foot. And then you can save the ladders if you want to, just to give you like more rhythm. So like we're on D, so from E to Z, I'll start saying the letters. So C, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. 
Z. Now we're onto the crab walk. If you're having to use crutches, this will be like the spider crab walk. So we're going to go backwards. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to do some spinning. Just be really careful doing this. Just take your time. Just to try to go around the loop. Until you reach the end. And there should be four of these that you have to do. Just walk through the little loop like you're following a line. And just move through your crutches to balance yourself. If it helps you, you can place one of your crutches to stay stationary, which means to stay flat, and move your other crutch around, sort of like a clock. So I'm going to place this crutch flat. I'm going to use this crutch to help me walk around this loop. And now, for the running, just try to go as fast as you're able to, following the arrows. Till you reach the stop sign and congratulations so now we're going to try it using a wheelchair and if you're able to operate one independently that's great but if you're not and you have a parent or like a friend that can push it then feel free like we said we want to make sure that this is just right and safe for you to try it so if you're able to when you get to the one try to raise your arms Raise one arm up when you get to the one. When you get to the two, raise this one up. When you get to the three, raise your left one up. When you get to number four and five, raise both up. When you get to six, just sit back. Seven and eight, raise both arms up. Nine, raise your left one up. Ten, raise your right one up. We're going to have to navigate through the arrows and it's kind of hard to see where the arrows are when you're using a wheelchair so you just want to be as careful and safe as possible and you don't have to get it in the right is that spot but as least as you're closely to it is okay so we can try it this way and back right into it see there's the two arrows and we're going to spin and reach these arrows and spin around and reach these arrows. Now we got to spin using our wheelchair. So for spinning, just try to move your wheelchair side to side and try to draw the loops with your wheelchair. See, as I'm trying to draw a loop. And now we're going to draw this loop. And now we're going to go to the jumping. So when I reach these first two circles. I'm going to raise my hands up, hold them for a little bit, put them down, go to the next circles, put my hands in my lap, the other circles, hands up, these circles, hands in lap, next circle, hands up, and the last circle, hands in lap. For the long jump, this will be a little tricky to do, but what I want you to try to do is push your wheelchair as fast as you can and just feel like you're looking up to the sky. See? Wee! It's sort of like jumping. You get the sort of same feel. This is the frog jump. So when you see the two open circles, we're going to try to put the wheelchair through here. And where it says hands, we are going to clap. So, open circles, place it flat, go over to the color circles, clap. It's so when frogs jump, they kind of make a clapping noise when they land. Open circles, park your wheelchair, color circles, clap. Park your wheelchair, clap. Park the wheelchair, over the color circles, and clap. For the figure eight, all you have to do in the wheelchair is just follow the lines the best that you can. And we're going to do this 
two times. So I did it this direction. So now I'm going to reverse and go over this way. This is long as you make a figure eight slice and complete that part of the challenge. Now, jumping on letters, what I want you to do as you come to a letter, just say the letter like this. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. This is the crab walk, and there is a certain type of crab called a hermit crab that has to always walk with a shell on it. So with our wheelchairs, we'll pretend like we're a hermit crab and we are going to try to sit up straight because crabs always walk. Like they're going somewhere to sit up straight and proud and they're going to go try to follow the lines. And sometimes crabs go side to side, so if you want to, to add some extra challenge, you can try to move your wheelchair side to side, like you're a crab trying to head into the ocean. Now this one is a spin, so all you have to do is just, similar to one of our earlier activities, is just try your best to spin through each one of the circles, and just give it your best effort. This has to be just right. It doesn't have to be perfect. So just spin. And then spin. And then when you see run, and you have a nice safe spot, just try to give your all and go as fast as you can on your wheelchair till you reach the stop. And now we're going to do this miracle style with buttons. So buttons is going to help me go through the sidewalk pattern. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to walk together. I'm going to get on this arrow. But this is going to get on this arrow. I'm going to do the same thing right here. But there you go. Now we're going to make a nice little circle. Not come off the. Nope, we stayed right on the map. We're going to get on our arrows. And we're going to slide this way. Get on these arrows. I'm going to go to this arrow. And now, me and Buttons are going to spin. See? Did y'all see Buttons spin? She made one good loop. Now, we're going to go to the jumping jacks. And then I'm going to do this. Me and Buttons are going to do the long jump. Are you ready, Buttons? Here we go. And now, we're going to do the frog jump. So I'm going to place my feet right here, my hands right here, the Buttons. I'm going to go this way, hands right here, the Buttons. This way.
We're going to do a figure eight. Letter A. So got A, B, C, D, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, U, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now buttons. How are we going to do this crab wall? Buttons thinking I'm funny. All right, buttons. Are you telling me I have to spin this time? I'll spin the first one. You do the second. So with some activities, you might have teammates. So it's always good to let your teammates have a turn. Like me and buttons are taking turns spinning. It's your turn to spin. Final part of this activity with any buttons, we are going to try our best to run and stop. Good job, buttons. You just completed the sidewalk challenge. Do you have anything you want to say to our friends? Button says that she loves you all and she misses you all and hope that you all are doing good and just to have fun and then we'll get through this.